What do you think? A Friday, a Friday tradition, a watch addicts Friday ramble. Why would you want to do that? What's wrong with a script? Nothing's wrong with a script, but uh, I think a ramble would be good for me personally because um, so I've been teaching college for about 35 years. I haven't been in the classroom in about, I don't know, a year and a half. I could be losing it. What, what are you wearing, man? You know, the wrist check. I want to be in a movie where this is how you uh, get into the building. <laughs> you got to do a wrist check, like get smart or some kind of, it's some sort of security ritual. Wrist check. Uh, yeah, well, this is a Seiko SBDC. 125 all stainless uh pretty nice watch man Ooh, lord have mercy son you're gonna just gawk at it all day or are you gonna make a video so uh i i want to do a friday ramble and today i want to talk about staying in california i want to talk about uh being nice when i'm not really nice why i'm nice even though i'm not in my heart the most nice person in the world i don't think and then I, I want to talk about uh, some of my uh, watches that I'm looking at, uh, which is insane because I had eight watches. I'm at my limit. I was going to sell my uh, my fourth generation monster. Not because I dislike it. I, I just, someone wanted it and I was kind of on the fence. But uh, the person backed down and totally happy with keeping it. I like it. It's fine. I mean, it's not sapphire. It's not a 70 hour uh, power reserve. What are you gonna do, man? Don't don't complain. It, it's um, you know I complain too much. I was thinking this morning. Look, man, this is a ramble on top of a ramble. This is like the ramble you're gonna do next week. You're out of your you're out of your mind, McMahon. Well, no, I gotta say this. I really shouldn't be complaining that much. This is a good time to be a, a watch enthusiast. There's a lot of really good watches out there for a good price with good specs. What are you complaining about, McMahon? You complain too much. You whine too much. And you frown too much. You need to smile more. And you, people tell me this all the time. So I just wanted to get that out there. All right. I don't know, man. I think my family, I think we're staying in California. It's just unbelievable. Okay. 15 months ago, there was a lockdown, a pandemic. You might have heard about it. You might have heard about it. So, you know, we, we live in a 1,200 foot square house in Torrance, Southern California. In these houses, uh, they go for about a million bucks. I think this ramble is going to be too long, McMahon. Oh, my God. I can't do this. Maybe I should stop doing the ramble. All right. So one thing I noticed when the lockdown happened, because I, I'm i spoiled. I'm, I'm normally home alone for large chunks of the day. You know, my wife goes to school. My daughters go to school. And I don't go to school till later. So I'm home alone in the day, and, and uh, you know, I took that for granted. Then the pandemic happened, and I realized, man, this is a little too cozy for me, man. A little too cozy. And, and immediately I started looking at bigger houses. I started thinking retirement. You know, I'm 59 now. And I started thinking, man, big houses, big places. And, and I got to looking at Rio Rancho, New Mexico. You know, five bedroom house, 400, boom, I'm there, right? I just, that, that was huge. So, one of my best friends here in Southern California, his name's Jeff. Yeah, his name's Jeff. Not this Jeff here. I'm not such a narcissist that I would purposely select my best friend to be named Jeff. But my best friend Jeff, I taught with him at the college for 25 years. He quit teaching to become an attorney. He's just one, of, he's a genius. He just goes, eh, I'm bored. I'm going to be an attorney. And so now he's an attorney. He's a successful attorney now. Well, he took a little vacation and Jeff went all over New Mexico. He says, I loved it, man. Great state. Loved every place. Only one place I didn't really like, Jeff. It was uh, Rio Rancho. I thought I'd better call you because you had been mentioning Rio Rancho. I go, what do you don't like about Rio Rancho? Goes, there's just nothing there. It's just a bunch of strip malls. There's no soul. There's no character. It's just like a bulldozer plowed over it and put a bunch of uh, cement there. Uh, like Santa Fe, he told me. So I, I was looking up Santa Fe and uh, like I was looking at houses there a year ago. It seems like houses are like uh, that were 400 are now 650. And there's a shortage of houses in Santa Fe. 
Then my wife uh, has friends who live in Texas, and they say it's too humid. Don't go here. They got too much hail, too much humidity. She says humidity's out, so I don't think Florida's in anymore. I was born in Florida. I was born in Gainesville. So, uh, I, I don't know. I th we're going to spend close to $30,000 on that kitchen. Maybe, maybe I'll be staying in California, man. One of the greatest songs of all time by Led Zeppelin, Going to California. I'm going to California. Shut up, McMahon. You already live in California. You can't sing that song. You already live here, McMahon. All right. That's the first thing I wanted to ramble about today. I think this ramble is too long already. Should I just go? Okay. Second thing I want to talk about is being nice. I'm not the nicest person in the world. I have dark thoughts. I'm kind of an angry guy. I'm hostile, but I'm, I don't know, man. I go to Trader Joe's every Wednesday. They all know me. A lot of my students work there, or former, former students, and they tell the other employees about me. And uh, so I know the people there, and, and the guy, you know, who, who bagged my groceries there. I'm not allowed to bag them anymore because of the COVID pandemic. But he was bagging them, and he apologized. He said he didn't do a good job. I go, don't worry. What are you talking about, man? I don't care how you bag them. I live two minutes from here. And he was so uh, relieved. He was, oh, some of these customers, man, they bust my chops if I don't bag them just right. Come on, man. And I, I just started thinking, um, first of all, customers should have personal boundaries with the uh, cashiers, number one. Number two, it's just easier to be nice. I mean, you have to put a lot of energy into being a jerk. Being a jerk requires a lot of energy. I think I'm nice in part because I'm lazy. It's just easier to be nice. Then people tend, tend to be nice back. It just makes life easier. Why, why would I want to be a jerk? It, it's an energy investment, bad energy investment. Love Trader Joe's, love the size of the store, love that uh, it's small. If I go to Costco, I feel like I'm an American gladiator. It's just, it's a nightmare. I have anxieties. I belong to it, but uh, that's it. All right, uh, watches. So, for those of you uh, who saw my last video, I'm a Type 2 watch addict. Uh, type 1, you just accumulate more and more watches. That's the better way to go because you don't sell your watches and you don't rebuy them. Um, really, I, I can tell you from experience that selling and rebuying is a very bad trip for, for the watch enthusiast. I'm a Type 2, unfortunately. I love to, to get more and more stuff in, but I also have a minimalist impulse in me. And those, those two impulses fight each other, and it drives me mad. It drives some of you mad, too. Some of you told me you have a Type 2 as well. And so here I am. I have eight watches. That's pretty much my limit, but I'm in trouble because I want, uh, I think I want five or six watches. You know there's an inexpensive Citizen Pro Master Diver with a green dial and a green bezel. It's on a steel bracelet. You can find them for as low as $225 on eBay. I want it. I don't know why I want it. I just want it. It looks cool. I, I would love to have it. You know, no no, um, no maintenance. It's an Echo Drive. Uh, it's green. I don't know why. In, in that particular model, I like it in green. I like the uh, teal green blue dial uh, current generation M Force. It's on a uh, black rubber strap. I'd have to buy an end mill for it. It's 20 millimeter. I'd love to have that. Citizen Pro Master Diver has a thousand dollar diver coming out in about three weeks. It's uh, I'll put the, the model number uh, in the description. It's, uh, it's, it's cool. Oh my God, talk about knurled and aggressive looking. It's, uh, it's quite a, quite a uh, watch there. It's made of super titanium. And uh, believe it or not, you know, I, I, oh, oh, the great wound of the watch collector missing his, his third generation Seiko Monsters. Well, I Long Island made a monster that's similar to the third generation Seiko. It's you can get it in the gray blue dial, which is the one I would get. It's sapphire. The bracelet is an upgrade from the stock uh, Seiko bracelet. People say there's one weakness: the bezel's kind of wobbly. Who knows? That might ruin my life. I don't know. And uh, there's a couple other watches I've been looking at. So uh, good luck to me keeping my uh, collection at eight. Very stressful, but you know, I'm not going to complain. It's a good time to be a watch enthusiast. That's a first world uh, problem. Uh, last thing I want to tell you, uh, I have a partner in crime and watch uh, obsession down here in L.A., man. His name's Carlos. He's the head of security at a bunch of big hospitals here in L.A. He works his butt off. Thank you for your service, Carlos. I met him because he came down to my house four years ago to buy a Seiko MM300. We've been in touch since. 
he just bought a Sapphire Tuna. And uh, he showed it to me uh, on a Super Boyer uh, strap code because he, he felt the, the uh, stock bracelet was a little too fancy. I agree with him. It looks a lot better on the Super, uh, in, not the Super Engineer, the strap code. And uh, I've been looking at it. Man, I don't know though. I have, I have two tunas, hard lex versions. Do I really want to spend $1,500 on a new tuna because it has sapphire and a different handset? That's a lot of money. If you think about it, no, really. If you think about that, you're spending $1,500 for, for hands and sapphire. Not sure. Not sure I could do that. I, if I had no watches and I was just going to buy that watch and just wear one watch, maybe. All right. Uh, that's my ramble. What do you, ladies and gentlemen, can I do a ramble on Fridays or is this just too incoherent? Let me know what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time, I'm out.